Hi, everybody, and welcome back to Miss Angler's Biology Classroom. I am Miss Angler, and in today's video, we are going to be looking at a DNA exam question. Specifically, this one is an easy one, but the second video that will come out today will be a more difficult, challenging question, and you can use these to practice for any upcoming tests or exams. Now, if you like this kind of content, I'm going to be doing way more of these for my exclusive members-only content on my YouTube channel. More information will follow soon as how you can join that members only and all the perks that come with it. So let's dive into the question and let's unpack exactly what we're seeing. Now it said the diagram below shows a part of a process involved in the production of protein. So we must immediately know this is in reference to protein synthesis. Now they will probably ask you questions about the process and you need to make sure that you know which one that they are talking about. So let's look at some clues in the picture. The first thing we need to notice is this really large structure over here, which is the ribosome. And the clue that this is the ribosome is of its shape. And you can see that the mRNA, which is this piece at the bottom here, has inserted it inside um, the ribosome. And so that then leads me to believe that we are looking at translation. Now, the other clues are going to be perhaps this molecule that's sitting off to the side here, which is the tRNA. And that's another very obvious reason why this is going to be translation. Now, you'll notice that there are some labels, W, X, Y, Z, and essentially, we're probably going to look at some providing uh, labels for those answers. And so let's just make sure we know what they're all pointing at before we even answer it, because sometimes we get caught up in the moment. We don't actually look at where the labels are, what they're pointing at, and we lose easy marks. And it's questions like this that are easy in an exam, and you should be getting full marks. Now, if we look at W and we look at X, they're both pointing to the same structure. It is the amino acid, which is attached at the back of the tRNA. We have Z, which is pointing to the three bases that we can find at the bottom of the tRNA, which is the anticodon. And then we have Y. And it looks like Y is bracketing all three things together. So it's safe to say that Y is more than likely going to be asking for tRNA. Now, as we go into the questions, we've done all this hard work of labeling the diagram, identifying everything, making sure we know what everything is. And now the easy part is just simply allocating those answers to the questions. And as you can see in the first one, it says molecule Y. Well, we know molecule Y is a tRNA. Then it says the group of nitrogenous bases at Z. What do we call that group? The anticodon. We've already labeled that. Let's go on to 212. Now it says if X is the next amino acid required after Y, then identify the following. First of all, you need to identify what are the bases one, two, and three. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over and we're gonna look at the genetic code on the mRNA. Now the next three bases are these three here. These are the codons that are sitting on our mRNA and they are ACC. Now, don't get caught into the trap of writing ACC. That is just the codon letters. We want the nitrogenous bases on our X. And so that means we want the complementary bases. And so the answer we are looking for should be U, G, G. Okay, that's the complementary side. Remember, there is no letter T in any form of RNA. The second part of the question is asking us to uh, provide or identify the DNA base triplet that codes for X. In other words, what is the lettering on the DNA that would attract this amino acid? So now you need to simply work a little bit backwards, and I'm going to show you what I mean. We already know that the anticodon, we just discovered it now, is UGG. We know the mRNA is ACC. Now, in order to find the DNA, we need to take it one step back and we need to put it back into its complementary DNA based triplets. And that would be TGG. And so that is the DNA based triplet that we are looking for. That is what you would be coding for on the DNA if you were trying to code for that specific amino acid at X. Now, let's look at the last question. And this is a big one, Matrix. It says, describe the process of transcription. Do not describe what you are seeing in this picture. This picture is translation. You need to provide the description for transcription. Now, I want to make this very clear. 
when you are providing any definition for transcription or translation, you must use your exam guideline document. The one from 2021 is still valid and it will be valid for many years until they decide to update it. There you will find a step-by-step -step explanation in bullet points, which makes it really easy to learn for. That's where you will describe the DNA unwinding, unzipping, hydrogen bonds are breaking, complementary base pairs join with their complementary bases. In other words, we have A joining to U and G joining to C. That is what you are trying to describe. But let me show you the memo for this answer so you can compare if you've attempted this question before the video. Now, here is the memo answer for everything that we have gone through now. And I just want to reiterate something that is really important is this answer at the bottom here. This is the answer that is directly taken out of the exam guideline. And you'll see that you're asked to give any six. So basically what that means is these little like highlighted points where I'm highlighting now up against our um uh, ticks, those are the important points that could get you a mark. Now, I want to also point something out to you as well. Do you see that the word RNA, for example, has a tick over here, but also a tick over here? What's really tricky is that if you've already mentioned it earlier, you won't get a double tick. In other words, if you get this first tick, you won't receive the second one because you already mentioned mRNA. Something also very important that I want to point out to you is, do you see this answer where it says one template or one strand is used as a template? Do you know that if you don't say one strand, if you don't say that, if you just say it's used as a template, you won't get the mark. And so you must, must, must include one strand is used as a template. Now, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I post every Tuesday and Thursday, so keep an eye out for my new videos that come out. And if you'd like to try the harder question, go right ahead and see if you can challenge yourself. I've uploaded it today as well. I hope you've all enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.